Come along with us on this episode of Loving the View with Russ and Nettie as we drive up the Tahoe Meadows to feed the hungry chickadees. If you're looking for a great winter weekend afternoon adventure, then look no further than the forest near Tahoe Meadows. This area is located on Mount Rose Highway, about 35 minutes from South Reno and 15 minutes from Incline Village. You'll know you're at the meadows when you see all the cars parked along the sides of the road and many people having fun on both sides. Find a good spot to park and make sure your tires are inside the white line along the side of the road or you may be ticketed. Nettie and I decided to come up here to do some snowshoeing and to also do another local favorite, which is feeding the little chickadees. It's wonderful, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Areas of the snowfield can be pretty packed down and we even saw some folks just walking in their shoes and boots, but the snow can be many feet deep up here. So snowshoes are definitely handy to help prevent you from sinking into the snow. For example, this is Nettie trying to walk across the snowfield without her snowshoes. You can definitely sink pretty deep into unpacked snow. One of the cool things we found here were the well-groomed cross-country ski trails throughout the area. What do you think, Nettie? It's beautiful out here, isn't it? It is beautiful. There's a lot of people out here too. Yeah, a lot of people enjoying it. When you come out here, there's trail etiquette signs that will let you know which side of the trail that you need to be on. This area is also a popular location for a spot called Chickadee Ridge. Chickadee Ridge. This is a really nice spot. Great views up here. Yeah, they are. Hi. Hi. We're up on Chickadee Ridge. It's a beautiful view up here. You see like Tahoe in the back? Yeah, it's amazing. So we're on this mountain. You can see the free style. Is free it, style skiing, I guess. Is that yeah. what it's called? I don't know. And the skies are blue. Yeah, beautiful day. If you're wondering if you have to hike all the way to Chickadee Ridge to find the birds to feed, you definitely do not. All we had to do is trek into the forest a bit. I see a spot in that clearing that might be nice. Want to try that? And as soon as we started hearing the little birds singing, we were able to start feeding them. Jeez. Now, now they're not going to. We found out that the birds seemed to like the nuts the best and they would often just sort through the mix in your hand and throw out the stuff they didn't like. We also came to this area in the warmer months hoping to feed them, but they were far less interested in the food we had to offer. A couple of us just decided to lie down and enjoy the forest while we waited for them to come around. We're pretty sure the food sources are far more plentiful during the warmer seasons. And it's also great in the spring and summer for hiking along the many trails that run through here. But back to the snow. This fun spot is popular for winter activities such as sledding, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing. We also saw this snowman in the woods. Looks like a lot of people were having fun out here. It was such a beautiful day when we came out here. The skies were so blue and contrasted amazingly with the white snow and green trees. While this wasn't our very first time using snowshoes, we aren't very experienced with them, so we just bought a cheaper pair from Sam's Club and they worked well for us. If you don't know if you'll be doing a lot of shoeing, this might be a great way to go for you. You can also rent them from REI and other places for a decent price. If you're looking for a great weekend activity for the whole family that is close to either Reno or North Lake Tahoe, this is a great choice and you'll love having these little birds interact with you. Thank you for coming along on this episode of Loving the View with Russ and Nettie. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell to be notified when other videos are coming out from us.